Okay, so let me share with you some really cool stuff here. If we go back here, that's going to take us to our main page, which actually not page, it was our main post. All right now, this is just single column, single column, single column, single column across the page. Now, let's say I want to, by default, just so it looks a little nice and cool and hip, I want to have maybe three columns across. I certainly have enough content to support that. So let's see how I can do that, okay? Now, here's what you might want to consider. I'm gonna go back to edit layout. Now, if you wanna make that part of your default layout, then you can just change this full width layout. If you wanna have a separate layout, then we can do what we did before. We can clone one of the layouts to start with and then make a change to it. Now, you might think that it's actually gonna to be to the layout itself, which technically it is, but in this particular case, it's gonna do, do with the, the, uh, the widget. So, WordPress default loop, okay? Now, obviously, if it's a single page, then I'm just gonna see it as a single page layout. But under multiple, what I can now do is switch this to columns. How cool is this? Now, we're gonna talk about images and stuff as the course progresses, but I just want you to walk before you can run. So, we're gonna say, let's go ahead and make this three columns with no image, okay? And I come down here and I hit save. I come up here and save the layout. And I go to the front of my page. Now keep in mind, what we did is we just changed the default layout. So there is my default layout with one, two, three columns across. How cool is that? Now again, if you want to have the flexibility of certain pages depending on the content. If you want certain pages to have certain columns and other pages not, then you would just make those different layouts by cloning them and then taking it from there. It's really up to you. It's a very personal environment, okay? So what I chose to do is I simply made that my default layout. Now, if you decide that, wait a second, the client's going, eh, that's a little too much information. Let's just make this two columns. Well, great. I can go under here again, that's not single post, that's under multiple posts, and based on these choices, we can make it four columns. So let's just make this two columns with no image, which is right there. Again, make sure you come down here, you save the changes. I come back here and save the layout. So therefore, if I view the front end of my page, there is my two column layout. Again, if I click right here, you're going to get your single post. Okay. Now, if I click right here, okay, you're not going to see multiple uh, columns because this is a single post or considered a single post, even though it's a page. I know that sounds confusing, but posts and pages are synonymous when it comes to how it's served up. So let's go back to this again. So when I pick my WordPress default loop, my default loop can serve posts, they can serve pages. And then based on these choices, you can choose to have the date on, off, you can show who made the post, you can put comments on, comments off. So pay attention in your practice, kind of get to know some of this environment here. Don't be intimidated, it's plain old simple language. You know, how many items do you want on the page? 10, 20, 30, 40, et cetera, et cetera. So just go through this one by one navigation. Do you want it to be numeric? Do you want it to be next and previous? Do you want it to be oldest to newest? There's all kinds of information in here. So as an example, look at this. I'm gonna go back to the first page on this. There's a little ditty here. So it says read more. Well, I don't want it to say read more. I What else do I have? Well, I could say oh, more, continue reading, continue or details. So let's just say continue reading and save. Now again, that's just part of the choice, part of the experience. Get to know your environment. It's in English based on these choices. That's how you get good at software. My job is to teach you how the software thinks. I don't want to go through every little nook and cranny because you'll be here forever. I don't want you to be here forever. I want to get you up and running and learning the software the right way. Okay, so if I come up here and I hit the refresh button, you'll see that now says continue read. Well, wait a second, it should say continue read. Why is it not saying that? Did I not save that? I thought I saved that. Maybe I'm not talking and chewing gum at the same time. Let's click here. Yeah, I picks continue reading, save, save. Well, the reason that's not working is because Robert's not paying attention. 
<laughs> because that's not part of the default slider. That's the one that says no slider. Well, that's not no slider. That's my default slider. So of course that's not going to change. So how would I change this one? Well, I would have to go back here, edit layout. Actually, I did that intentionally to share with you how we learn is by making mistakes. So the experience that you're having could be a very common experience. Wait a second, I change it, but it's not changing. Well, because you didn't change the correct layout. So if you're ever in doubt, the thing that's going to keep you in tr out of trouble is go to that physical layout. Whatever page is served up is going to trigger that layout. So if I go to edit layout, I come down here to my multiple column and I scroll down to the bottom and I'm going to pick continue reading. Now it will work. Save layout. Go back here and now it says continue reading. And if I click on there, there's no more continued reading because it's a single post. So in our next video, we're going to do one of the little magic secrets in Ultimatum, which is one of my favorite things to do, and that's working with short codes. Whenever given the opportunity, whatever, regardless of the WordPress theme that you're working in, whenever given the opportunity to work with short codes, do it because it's going to save you a lot of brain damage. You'll hear me say that a lot during my course, brain damage. I like that word. Uh, when I was in the eighth grade, my biology teacher, Doc Holly, Doc Holly uh, actually quit teaching at the uh, universities. I think he was teaching at Brown at the time, and he came to teach at our high school in New Jersey. And part of the reason he did, because there was nothing but knuckleheads getting up to his class, we figured he'd come back to high school and teach us the right way. So he basically called us all a bunch of knuckle draggers, get back in your cages. And uh, that's where I got a lot of my early learning from him, Doc Holly. Anyway, uh, he's someplace in the universe. Uh, I don't think he's with us anymore, but uh, hey, I will talk to you soon in the next video. We'll talk about short codes. So stay tuned.